very important skills that patients need to be familiar with whenever they are using their wheelchair for mobility is how to manage steps. And um, that's very important because very often patients might run into steps. They need to go up or down. For example, if they are visiting family or if they need to go somewhere where there are steps, there's no other way. And uh, for this purpose, basically we will teach patients what to do and how to um, organize the help they will be getting from people. So the person on the wheelchair can ask anybody from the environment to help them with the steps and they need to be familiar with the steps uh, involved in doing this and how to explain it simply to an unknown person. And uh, for the, this kind of technique, it can be done depending on the patient's weight, depending on the fitness of the people who are assisting uh, by one person, it can be done by two person, and it can be done by up to four people. In all cases, the person on the wheelchair needs to be the team leader in organizing the effort of everybody who's going to help. And so now we will demonstrate the technique with two people. For this technique, if the person is going up the step, then they need to move close to the stairs with their back towards the step. And we are demonstrating the technique with two people assisting. The person from behind will be holding the push handle and if the person on the wheelchair can do a wheelie, then they will do it. If they can't, then the person can assist by pressing on the empty step and making a wheelie. Okay, now the person in front will need to find a fixed spot. We need to make sure that we are holding a fixed spot of the wheelchair. So for example, we don't hold here because this is movable part and with weight it might move and we will lose control of the patient. And same thing for the footrest. So the fixed part for us here on this chair, so you need to check the chair or the person on the wheelchair will tell the person where to hold. For us here, I will hold on the frame of the chair itself. And the person on the wheelchair, they will hold the push stem. And as we said, this person will be the team leader. So on a count of three, the person behind will be holding the push handle and they will push up. And the person on the wheelchair, who is the team leader, who will do the count, they will be, they will be holding the push stem and they will pull on the wheel like backwards. And the person in front will be assisting from holding the frame. And this will be a coordinated effort, and we will do one step at a time. Okay, so let's get started. Um, you are the team leader, so you will do the count for us. We do the wheel, we move back towards the step. Okay, and now you do one, two, three, and we move up. Now we take a step in to relocate ourselves. So I move a step forward, you take one step up, and then Another count. One, two, three. Okay, and we keep going up like this. To make the technique easy, we should always try to maintain the wheelie position. And this was the technique with two people. If it were one person, then it will be one person from behind. If it were four people, then two people would be in front, one on the right, one on the left, and two people behind with uh, one person holding each handle. Now to go down the steps, we will reverse the people. So still, the person is facing down the steps, and now we will move down, you do the count. One, two, three. Okay, so we do one step, we reposition ourselves, so you reposition, I reposition, and then we are, when we are ready, we do the count again. One, two, three.